Okay, long story short, uh, in India I met a man, uh, he was a farmer and he had six big solar panels uh, with which he irrigated his land. But when I came there, he wasn't irrigating, so I asked him, what are you doing with the energy you are creating? And he didn't know, he didn't know he could use the energy, he didn't know he could share the energy and he didn't know he could even sell the energy. Uh, but at the same time, his neighbors were lighting their kerosene stoves. <coughs> So in India alone, 260 million people are without access to, uh, to energy services. Uh, and worldwide, this is more than a billion. And our project, Energy Bazaar, has, has taken this problem to the heart. Uh, and within the project, we instigate three pillars, uh, increasing energy access, democratizing energy ownership, and uh, maintaining sustainable development. And during the spindle, of, well, we want to create uh, decentralized energy markets or local energy markets and during the spindle we found out that co-design is actually something that we uh, we also need in our project to make it a successful uh, successful thing and uh, yeah how can we get all these people together so we made some calls and uh, now we're leading a Dutch delegation team towards the India Smart Grid week in March um, uh, and uh, from there um, we also did, uh, or during the spindle, we also did uh, a blockchain workshop where we designed a proof of concept. Uh, and now we've taken that proof of concept into a hackathon where we are um, really making it, we're coding it with a group of seven experts from our flourishing community. So um, from that hackathon and the proof of concept, uh, we are planning to go rapidly towards a pilot project, really into the villages where actual energy sharing can be done uh, and from that village to the next, to the next one village at a time.